Hi guys, the deed has finally been done and I've finally placed my Fuji XC2 against the infamous Sony A6000. Now, the testing has been extremely rigorous, fair and above board, and I can finally say the results are in and it is without without any shadow of doubt that one of these two came out on top. Now if you want to find out which camera it was, you'll have to watch right through to the end of this video. Anyway, without further ado, let the camera roll. Right guys, it's it's here, the day's here, the big showdown between the my beloved Fuji XC2 and the infamous Sony X A6000. Now, luckily I've arrived here early and I've been waiting here five minutes and there's no real sign of my friend. So, with a bit of luck, if, I, if he doesn't turn up, I can accept the win by forfeit. Now, I'm quite happy to do that. You know, because, you know, I'm a bit worried about this showdown, but we'll see. I'll give him another five minutes, and we'll see if he turns up. Anyway, it looks right. Oops. Actually, I think someone's here. Let's have a quick look. Listen to this. I right, listen to this. Okay. Is now, it going? Yeah. Oh, now, you've done it. Okay. Yeah, now for the Sony, the show off.
Right guys, <coughs> I hope you find that interesting. I know it wasn't a scientific test and it wasn't carried out in lab laboratory condition, laboratory conditions, but it was a real user test both for my, myself and my friend who owned these cameras. Now, <coughs> after adding up all those points that were allocated to each camera, they both came out the same. They are very similar in many ways. However, including these, if I'll show you, very, very similar. But you know, given all the technological technological advances that the Sony has, I'm going to give it one more point and count as the winner, even though I'm a Fuji man. And the reason why is because those little bit of extras that it has, the low light performance, for example just blew the Fuji out of the water um, and the speed 11.5 frames a second I think it is that's incredible so is the autofocus super fast so for that reason it's getting a point extra however let's look at these cameras well they're both very similar but why I'm gonna say I prefer my Fuji and why I love it so much is because the aesthetics the mechanical or the manual means by which you have to use the camera it gives a more tactile feel gives you an experience and in fact it slows down your photography which for me is better because i can sometimes rush and regret what i've done when i've messed shots up because i rushed to it so this slows you down and i think that's that can be good for, photo for photography one's photography also the control of the quick menu very easy to use I found it far more easy than any menu that the Sony had but it's fantastic it's so easy this was confusing you know when you put in manual it's not an easy camera to use uh, what else let's have a look <coughs> the lens for example let's talk about kit lenses 2.8 to f4 this is considered one of the best kit lenses out there and I think it is pretty good, it's a good great lens it's not your normal bog standard kit lens and let's look at the uh, Sony the articulated uh, screen, fantastic can be very useful for shooting low or high above that's something that this Fuji needs and another X10 and the uh, X-T1 have so I mean this camera is newer this was out a lot longer before so the advances had to be made together with this problem of an articulated screen most likely <coughs> and what else the handle the grip is is better than the, than the Sony's uh, I mean the Fuji I think the Fuji could do with more grip now let's take the weight when you go mirrorless, you're looking to get lighter. Now, this is not double, but it's near enough double the weight of the Sony. And for many, that might be a put off. Uh, for me, it's not bad. It feels like holding a solid camera. And if you drop this bad boy, it's not going to get too, damp, too much damage. But I don't feel the same with the Sony. It's well built. Don't get me wrong. But the Fuji feels much more substantial. But because mirror is supposed to be lighter that's why the Fuji got a point for, for weight both have great uh, viewfinders I'm not going to say anything about that both are very similar on off switches and so on but and the looks well I know the Sony have a silver version uh, but I prefer my Fuji it's the way it looks, looks more vintage partly why I bought it for its aesthetics uh, but you know they're both great cameras both have its advantages over each other the x trans sensor great color reproduction that I don't think the Sony can match and I think the Fuji JPEGs are superior to the Sony in my view all this is my view it's not scientific uh, <clears throat> I can't talk about the raw files because I didn't have the software to look at raw files on my computer so it's just down to the JPEGs 
I prefer the Butterlea and the Fuji and the Sony it may be, I might be slightly biased but that's how I feel but in general the Sony came out on top <coughs> the question is if I had to sell my uh, if I was to replace this what would I do? Would I buy the Ace 6000? No, I'd still buy a Fuji but if I was to get another camera to go along with my Fuji, I would get this as a backup camera. Not because it deserves the backup uh, label, but because I'm a Fuji man. I love the colours. I always have. I've had a Fuji for a long time now, from the X100, <coughs> sorry, to the X10, XE2. So I'm not going to change. But I still love this. Great camera. But always be a Fuji, love the experience, love my camera. Will my friend be Pete be hopping up and down with joy probably because he beat me? Maybe, and then good, because it was a good win. But you know, sometimes you just choose a, a camera because you just choose it and you like the way it is, not because it might be the best out there, but because. For you, it's the best for you. Anyway, enough rambling, it's late at night. So, anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I do appreciate it, and bye-bye. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Well, I hope you liked the video, and if you want all the updates and when new videos come out, please do subscribe. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.